Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel for a brand new video on the Soto Costa Competizione. I know this video was meant to be uploaded um, pretty much earlier. It wasn't meant to be uploaded right now as you're watching it because a brand new update has been um, has been on, onto the game since like uh, the start of November, 10th of November, something like that. So it's been two weeks since the update has been on and I couldn't actually upload due to my PC being broken. It was on service and now I've got it back. It's been like uh, five days since I've got it back and I was like, okay, yeah, I need to record, you know, need to upload because I always upload the updates. So, welcome to this video. As you can see, additions, brand new track, multiplayer is now onto the game. So we're going to try it onto some future videos probably. If I'm going to have time to upload any new videos on this update. But, we've also got a brand new car, the BMW M6 GT3, uh, GTE. So pretty much it's a BMW, you know, uh, I think we also have the same BMW on F Factor 2 on the Endurance pack, if I'm not mistaken. So you know, we've already driven this car, I've already driven this car on F Factor 2. Let's try here on a Soto Costa Competition on a race around Paul Ricard. Here we are, ready for the race in Paul Ricard. And as you can see, this is the grid. We're starting from last position with uh, 20 other opponents. And uh, yeah, I really want to see how the AI is going to be in Mugello was a little bit um, risky. He had some it, it needed some improvements since Mugello and also from Nürburgring. So let's see how How good it is, but also how good I am in the game because um, you know, I still st I'm still not very used to like the braking zones and all that and the tower on this game. I think it is a pretty tough game in uh, terms of like tower and braking zone so you know I only get used to that but okay I just got bricked here by the uh, Audi uh, thank you very much um, but um there you go that's uh, the collision here with that I think they've also added that a brand new thing wherever collision happens pretty much getting formed uh, on the bottom of the screen but now we're gonna be going off we're gonna be starting in uh, Paul Ricard, we're already on the inside of a Mercedes AMG. Uh, now up the inside of an Audi, another Audi, Ferrari even possibly, and not gonna be going up the inside of this Lamborghini. Around the outside of the Lamborghini, he got a bad exit here. We got a perfect start. We pretty much gained uh, almost five positions there onto the start of this race. So that was a pretty good start. And uh, we're also gonna be going probably up the inside of this another Lamborghini. Let's see any chance we're gonna be. Making a move here up the inside, and the Bentley is also going to break pretty early. We're also going to make slight on here on the back end of uh, the Bentley. Not a lot of damage done, and I think we got away with uh, from the worst. And now onto the back straight, as you can see, we're going to be catching up to the back of the Bentley. One of my favorite cars so far. Uh, but let's see how we're going to make a move on the Bentley. I think it's going to be pretty easily done. We're going side by side for the time being. The Bentley is still on my left hand side. Now it's behind me because we got the slipstream from the Ferrari and we made an easy move bar. It's a beautiful there, uh, beautiful to see plenty of cars running around Paul Ricard. And you know, I'm pretty much looking forward to driving more of those cars. And the Lamborghini actually run wide there, as you can see. And with our Lamborghini running wide, we are actually up into 13th position already from the first lap. So the AI seems to be a little bit off the pace onto the first couple of corners and that's the reason we'll be gaining positions but now we're gonna make a mistake and one thing I need to mention I've n I didn't get used to the track no matter how many how much practice I've done I just couldn't get uh, into grips with the track like uh, the braking zones were pretty messed up for me because whenever I tried to brake earlier the AI would be faster than me and whenever like uh, I tried to brake later or at the same level as the AI I wouldn't make the corner and that happened especially onto the third sector and uh, with that mistake we've lost a position to the Audi and we've dropped down into P40 and that's the Audi actually up ahead is gonna be making a move onto the Ferrari and uh, we've also under attack from a Lamborghini here as it is on our slipstreaming let's see is the Lamborghini gonna make the move stick around the outside is gonna go I'm gonna leave him space on the outside let's see 275 kilometers here on the top speed onto this corner we're gonna make it stick onto the corner we're not really gonna make it Lamborghini run wa runs wide and we run a little bit more wide there and I just couldn't hold it that, that's what I mean like uh, it seems like the AI 
has more like stability under some certain corners even though you you might do the same as the AI does but you're not gonna have the same result that's what happens and uh, as you can see that was a good run through this corner that was a pretty good run but still the AI is faster than me but um, yeah the AI has improved a lot it's improved a lot since uh, Nurburgring and Mugello because even Jello I could easily challenge the AI and if I had like more time I would have easily like you know got into the top 10 or something like that but in this in this occasion here in Paul Ricard it's like the AI is faster than me but uh, now the Lamborghini we've got a, oh my god that was a cruel fight here the Lamborghini almost made corner with a front end of the Ferrari car and the Lamborghini is just going left and right on the braking there's a lot of oversteer for the Lamborghini as there's also some kind of oversteer also for me but the Ferrari seems to be losing some kind of speed and that's gonna we're gonna take advantage of that stick onto the slip streaming once again with five minutes to go onto the back straight we're currently in 15th position now we're gonna be in 14th making this move and I think that's our first overtake on this race uh, apart from like, uh, if you get the first lap overtake so that's a good overtake from us to make but um, I think the key to this game uh, is breaking early which I, I cannot do I, w I can do that you know I missed the breaking point again as you can see and uh, that is gonna give the position back to the Ferrari I'm gonna try and go up the inside of the Ferrari again we make slack on I think it was a racing incident right here between me and the Ferrari I went onto the inside and he pretty much I uh, went a little bit straight and he also turned into me slightly so that was a bit of a racing incident here uh, so I didn't bother giving back the position trying to get back around the outside of the Lamborghini we weren't able to actually do that and we are gonna stay in 15th position as we've got an Audi right behind us here right behind us so that's pretty close here uh, pretty close fighting with the Audi see is the Audi gonna make any moves around the outside he's going for the switchback or actually he got the better line here as I've already told you this third sector is pretty bad for me I just can't get to grips with the track on this third sector I just I just don't understand like the line or the racing line whatever that is I can't understand the racing line on that one and we're also gonna lose the back end here that's a bad mistake by me a pretty bad mistake we lost the back end and gonna lose two positions in uh, in one lap so with only two minutes to go are we actually gonna get back around the outside of the Mercedes let's see around the outside are oh, gonna slightly slightly cut the corner here couldn't make the corner and I'm gonna let the Mercedes get me again so it would be pretty unfair to make the mistake if I'm being honest and now the Lamborghini is gonna come on to us again on uh, with only 55 seconds to go so it's the penultimate lap right now and the Lamborghini is actually going to get me around the outside is there any chance of me actually holding on to here onto the inside oh, look at the Lamborghini trying to straighten the back end of the car there incredible car control from the AI here that was pretty amazing to actually see there oh my god that was amazing that was absolutely amazing the car control from the AI was magnificent there it's just fantastic just incredible and I'm gonna make another yet another mistake through this corner this corner has been so bad for me I, I just can't get to I just, I just can't get to grips with this corner there's no way the Ferrari now gonna get me up the inside he went I'm not gonna go for a double into the final corner I'm not gonna do that again but I'm gonna try and have a good exit around the final corner stay onto the slipstream with the Ferrari let's see I'm gonna be able to make any moves the Ferrari doesn't have the perfect toe speed so we're gonna take advantage of that go up the inside this time not like we did with the Mercedes and I'm gonna try and break a little bit earlier and that's not uh, that was a lot earlier not really wanting to do that there we're gonna the Ferrari's gonna outbreak us and he's gonna take the position we're down into 19th even though we had an incredible start I mean if we finish on 19th position which we're probably gonna be doing uh, it's good because we've uh, gained two positions so you know it's not the worst of finishes you know I mean 19th position here in Paul Ricard pace was pretty bad if I'm being honest and uh, I'm gonna give that also to the tire we're being pretty bad like my tires were in a really bad state that's why I started losing positions from the Ferraris the Lamborghinis and I'm not gonna blame the game on that obviously I've, I've just 
broke I, I broke so many times late onto some corners that that resulted in my tires getting pretty much destroyed so you know tires went badly worn out uh, we ended up in 90th position pace wasn't good AI improved massively since the last update I pretty much liked it the track not one of my favorite tracks I don't really like it it's probably one of my least favorite from the endurance like uh, you know track pack if we're gonna call it like that but the BMW was pretty cool pretty cool once again as a car um, still the Bentley I think is my favorite car and I think yeah I think the Bentley is my favorite car currently but the BMW was pretty interesting to drive um, but I really want to try like some um, multiplayer races onto the game so you know probably some episodes I'm gonna do one or two episodes on multiplayer depends on how it goes and if the races go well but I, I, I think I will record one video also I'm gonna get back into WRC7 and F1 2018 uh, even though on F1 2018 if it doesn't get uh, above 50 views or if it doesn't get your support the career mode I'm probably gonna stop it because you know uh, it takes quite a lot of time to record and uh, uh, if you don't really enjoy it or you're not really interested in it I'm not really gonna bother doing it because you know we've got a set of course so we've got uh, the league racing I just uploaded like the race highlights which I don't know if you enjoyed it you know but if you enjoyed it, yeah give me some feedback on the previous video because uh, it's something brand new in the channel I've never tried it before but yeah until next video guys which is uh, probably gonna be even a set of Corsa or tell your C7 I'll catch you later goodbye lads <laughs>